Welcome back to Overtime here on WOTM. Mark, let's talk about another NFL quarterback hmm. that's really making a lot of head, uh, uh, headlines here recently. It is Aaron Rodgers. Right before the draft, word came out from Adam Schefter and other reporters that he says that he does not want to play for the Green Bay Packers next year. The reigning MVP, and there's been very few MVPs that don't go back to their team the following year. Now, Aaron Rodgers is obviously somebody that we've, we've known, we've seen grow up uh, in his time there in Green Bay. Obviously very, very frustrated with the club. Very frustrated not only with what their, some of their decisions, including their decision a year ago when their first round pick was essentially his backup in Jordan Love mm. and did not get a receiver for him. And they watched as the team for the second straight year goes to the NFC uh, championship game, falls just short to Tom Brady and the eventual Super Bowl champions uh, from Tampa Bay. What do you make of this, uh, not only this report, but here here over the last couple of days, uh, a few hours, we're hearing also reports that he's number one, probably considered retiring. He's sincerely thinking about taking the Jeopardy job if, it's, if it is offered to him. And there's also a report out that the, another way he probably would come back is if the GM is fired. What do, what do you make of this entire situation uh, with Aaron Rodgers? And if he does go, what do you think is a good landing spot? I think that after he won a Super Bowl in 2010, everybody expected Aaron Rodgers to be a guy that won definitely more than one Super right. Bowl and probably was going to win three or four. Mm. Then they would go 15-1 and one that next year, have that shocking loss to the Giants, uh, and then throw in that uh, messed opportunity against Seattle in a championship game. Right. And it seems like those things have really affected him. But his regular season numbers mm -hmm. since the start of 2011 – he has 325 touchdowns and 57 interceptions. Wow. I mean, that is just wow. filthy, unreal. okay? Unreal. Uh, absolutely unreal. 99 and 43 overall. This guy is a great, great quarterback. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand. You, they, they, these guys don't grow on trees. Right. I mean, the, yeah. for crying out loud, I've been waiting so long for the team that I like to get a quarterback like this. So why do you mess with him? Right. He's still somewhat young. It's, you know, he had a great year. He did all he could last year with them getting the championship game. Look, would I be a little annoyed that he had the opportunity to beat Brady and end all, or at least start the, hey, Aaron Rodgers is just as, or should be in a conversation right. with Brady. Right. But now you can't say that because he lost to him. Mm -hmm. And if he's going to retire, he'll never get there. He'll never be in that conversation. I don't think he will anyway. Right. But I would want to come back and have another shot to win. Could that be in Green Bay? Yeah, I think so. There's enough talent there. He got them to the championship game last year. Where else do you think he could go? Yeah. Where? where? Right, right. I mean, honestly, there, there's been some reported teams out there that, that he likes, and one of the situations would be New Orleans. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that, would be, that would be good. Uh, another situation would be also uh, over in Denver. And I, I think the Denver situation, Denver plays uh, is an interesting one as well. Um, the thing that's kind of surprised me is the fact that they haven't they, they've gone over his head on all, so many issues yeah. that you would think yeah, you're right that you were starting quarterback would get he is single-handedly or almost single-handedly um helped the valuation of that franchise uh just with his excellence mm -hmm. and you hear reports and you hear you you see what T tampa's doing with tom brady giving him all the weapons that they won the super bowl, super bowl with they're all in with tom brady right you saw you heard reports that Joe Burrow was asked who he thought hmm, the wow. Bengals should uh, draft with their uh, with their first round draft pick. There was some thought that maybe Panay Sewell, the, the offensive tackle out of out of Oregon, Oregon, right? Because he Joe Burrow got hurt last year mainly because he kept getting sacked, and Joe Burrow really wanted Jamar Chase, and the Bengals get Jamar Chase. He is a rookie getting what he wants, and here Aaron Rodgers is one of the best players in the game and the MVP, and seemingly not getting what he wants. Okay, but time out here. Okay, Aaron, you're a little bit of a hypocrite. What happened to you in 2005? Right, right. right. You were the benefit of that. Mm -hmm. So to get on your team because they take a future first-round pick, I think it worked out pretty well with you. Right. Yeah. So uh, that would be kind of hard to argue against, being they were so successful at it. Do I think he was a better quarterback than Brett Favre? Absolutely. Right. I, I like Brett Favre, but Brett Favre took way, way too many risks. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at some of the playoff games he lost and some of the horrible decisions he made right. that overtime throw against uh, Philadelphia in the divisional round, which I'm still wondering who he was throwing that ball to. <laughs> and then remember his last game as a Packer, right. he got intercepted mm -hmm. in the championship game against the Giants. So, look, he has a legacy there. They love him in Green Bay. 
that's probably the best fit for him. Right. But even you look in that division, Kirk Cousins thought he was going to, uh, you know, his his glory home with Minnesota. Mm -hmm. He had offensive weapons. He had a good, fast defense. Uh, and they've only won one playoff game there. They can't even win the division because of Aaron Rodgers. You just think of Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. So I would like to see him stay there. But th you mentioned the Saints are an interesting choice. Yeah. Because he, I, he certainly is on the same level as as Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say better than the other because they're both great. It's right. hard to compare. But not only that, but you'd see him in the same division with Brady. That would be really interesting. I don't know if there's anybody in the AFC that needs him. Buffalo doesn't need him. Miami, maybe, if Tua doesn't work out. Right. Right. Um, the Jets aren't ready to win. So uh, that would probably be the best place for him. Exactly. The only place I would leave Green Bay for. Yeah, it would be probably uh, New Orleans uh, or Miami. It should be really interesting. Washington, to find I, out. I don't know. Who knows? But we'll, we'll keep track of the drama there with uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. We're coming up next here on Overtime. We will close up shop with a little bit of news. That and more coming up next.